Hello everyone, this is Lexi with Octoparts. Today we'll focus on how you can find good sellers. In this series, I will dive into how you can grow your e-commerce business by leveraging web scraping. If you are a dropshipper, you are probably having a hard time finding reliable sellers who can provide high quality products at low cost, which means more businesses and more profits for you. So there are millions of products and sellers listed on an e-commerce website. How can you tell which one will work for you? In this video, I will show you exactly how to find the good sellers on AliExpress using the Octopus software. Don't forget to subscribe to Octopus YouTube channel for weekly video updates. If you find this helpful, don't forget to click the like button. A good seller should provide exactly what you need in terms of product types and prices. So what makes a good seller? There's a quick checklist. Number one, product price, as you want to control the budget and make a profit. Number two, customer reviews. It's also important to check customer reviews on the product as they reflect the overall performance of the customer service and the product quality. Number three, seller performance. You will still want to know which of them has the best seller performance because you are planning for the long run. A good seller should have at least 95% overall rating on AliExpress. Number four, open date. If the seller has been around for long enough for at least one year on AliExpress, are generally more experienced. Number five, shipping cost and estimate delivery date as you want your product to be delivered on time. Number six, if there is 75 day buyer protection, it's always good to know that your money will be protected if things go wrong. Now that we know exactly what information we will need to collect for our seller analysis, I will show you how Octopus can help you capture this information quickly and easily. Even though the website filter can help sort through all the listings, it can still be time-consuming to browse each individual seller. This is when Octopus comes to rescue. For those who are new to Octopus, it is a non-code web scraping tool that can help you capture data you need from any web page. Let's say I'm about to start my phone case business and looking for phone case sellers. First of all, go to AliExpress, search phone case, and then copy the target URL to Octopus search box. Octopus will load the web page URL in the built-in browser. To find sellers, I click the title of the first seller on the list page as shown, select all, and loop click single URL. And then Octopus directs me to the seller detail page where I can get more information about the sellers. Now I look through the page and find the information I need. I will click on each of them to capture it and click Extract Data on Tips Panel. While you might have noticed, there's one data field I left out at the previous step, which is the open date, as it's showing on Hover. So I need to add one more step here. Move mouse to Seller Name. Click Hover on the selected URL and then select Open Date. Click Extra the Test of Selected Element to Extra Data. I can rename each data field in the Data Preview section to make things look better. Perfect, we just completed the workflow for one product which will be repeated for all the products on the first page. Now we need to set up pagination. I go back to the web page and scroll down to the bottom. Click on the next button, loop click next page. AliExpress has long scrolling techniques so users can traverse chunks of content smoothly. In order to make sure the contents are fully loaded, so we need to set up page scroll down. The number of scrolls depends on the page length. In this case, the listing page is quite lengthy, so I set up scroll a hundred times. Now everything is well set. I can choose to run the data on my device or run in the cloud. Running data in the cloud can save more time for me. When the run is completed and all the data I want has been extracted successfully, I will then export my data to Excel sheet. 
so I can conduct further analysis. You see, by using Octopus, there's no need to manually copy or paste anything. You can capture the information you need from literally thousands of pages by setting up a simple workflow in Octopus. So this is an example of using AliExpress to collect seller information. There are a lot of similar platforms out there. You can repeat the same process for different websites and create your own seller database. You don't have to limit yourself to a single platform. So that's all for today's sharing. Remember, Octopus is a versatile software and there's so much to explore. In our next video, we'll cover one of the most important topics for everyone in the e-commerce industry, how to select trending products. Like this video and leave us a comment for any question you have. We may get so inspired that we'll decide to address your question in the following videos. Make sure you subscribe to Octopus YouTube channel. See you next week.